Hello friends, this is Growl. Welcome to Waffle Cat Weekly number 46. Again, another week where we're doing it live. We're waiting for the servers. The servers are up on time. You can see, oh my god, look at everyone flooding in, dude. Oh man, the vault's so stupid, but when it creates moments, like this is one of the few things that may, it, it feels that we're apart. Look at this, dude. Everyone's just flooding in. All of Azeroth is just piling into the vault, dude. It is Christmas. This, this is a cool shot right here. This is a cool shot. But anyway, I don't give a crap about any of these people. All I want is loot. What do we got here? We're in holy spec. We're on our pally. Our pally is very neglected. Our lowest geared character. Let's see what our one item will be. We have, ooh, 421 pants. All right, very good. We can tierify these. We will happily take these. High mastery, but I don't know what the tier pants are. Boom. Roll them on, equip, 394. Slowly climbing. All right. Prodigy. I believe Prodigy only did one weekly this week. I snuck in some extra alt activities, though. So there will be extra alt activities, but there will be reduced main activities. This week was, last week, I mean, was bolstering week. And uh, let's say I spent a majority of the week sitting on the bench in Valdraken by myself. Because not very many people wanted to play. So we didn't get as many keys done on our mains as we wanted to. All right. Let's see what Prodigy's got. We'll go into Mistweaver. So we actually picked up a whetstone on our Mistweaver this week, I believe. This is a new addition, so now we can do big damage. We also crafted a Lariat. And for some reason, we still only have one tier item. That's just sort of the Mistweaver way for me. And... Oh, <laughs> dude... A 421 Ruby Whelp Shell. Well, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're training our Whelp. He can keep Prodigy Company on the bench. We'll, re we'll replace nice my Whelp Weak Aura training thing is already loaded now. If you're wondering where to get this Weak Aura, then try and look for a different trinket instead. All right, now on to Pet Zergling. We actually did a couple keys on Pet Zergling with the new and improved Shaman damage. I was kind of blasting, but I was kind of also very undergeared. I don't know if I did four. I think I did four keys. I think we'll have two vault slots at plus 20 on our Shaman. I might be mistaken. We, we need a weapon desperately. We need a weapon desperately. Um, I'm an enhancement loot spec. That's not the loot spec I should be in. I'm guessing that means I was doing a Horde of Stars. All right, load it up. And oh, is that a 421 staff? Now it's not a shield. It's not a shield, but we're using it. This is just way too big of an upgrade to pass up. We will absolutely take this. We will take it to the bank. Let's uh, slap it on. Oh my god, it's a six item level upgrade. Let's get our... Uh, Sophic... Devotion. Boom. Wait, did these come way down in price? Weren't these like 50k or something? Holy moly, they're so far down. Alright, if, you, if you've been being cheap and you haven't bought one of these yet, now's the time. Alright. Alright. 
How come it didn't work? And boom. All right. Big upgrade on the shaman. Pretty big upgrade on the paladin. We got a ruby whelp shawl on the on the Miss Weaver. So our our priest randomly snuck in to a two of eight mythic run. So I actually, along with my one vault slot, I have two, or I have a mythic vault slot also. So we have the chance of a whispering or incarnate icon. I've actually been playing this guy a little bit. We've been gearing up some. We're almost 400 item level. I've been having fun with the new disc priest. It's very hard. You have so many buttons, but I've been enjoying it. Um, I hope to play this guy a little bit more in the future. Um, hopefully I can get rid of this whelp with the whelp shell trinket. Um, my rings are pretty good. Need some good armor pieces and some good tier pieces. Another whelp. Yeah, I have too many whelp trinkets. All right. Oh, here's this guy, by the way. If you're wondering where the catalyst guy is, since they probably didn't know where to put it, they literally just shoved him right in the vault, right by the vault. So that way there's no chance that you couldn't find him. All right. Creating loot. Uh, a 415 offhand and a 421 horn of valor. I mean, I, I guess it's better than a whelp shell. I guess it's better than a whelp shell. We will get some item levels off this. We're going to, we're going to be honking. Boom. 402. All right. So, yesterday, I was about to go to bed. I was lining up all my uh, characters by the vault, making sure I did vaults on all my guys. And then I realized I had not done a single key on my druid for the entire week and didn't do any raiding. So we had zero vault slots on our druid. So we did, we rushed a weekly. Actually, we didn't do a weekly. We played keys with Pika. Pika asked me to do keys like late last night. And we did a few keys. My poor druid might actually only have one vault slot. Which will be a little bit disappointing, but also my gear is pretty high level anyway, so. Our guild, our guild did kill Razageth though. So our druid or our evoker will start to return to mythic raid soon. But because we were we did the skip last week to do um we did the skip last week to do uh get to Razageth faster to get more time progging it. Alright. We have balance loot spec. I'm still kind of trying to get a feather, even though I do have a whetstone. Other items we might want. I don't know. Just some high level armor, I guess. Or a cape. Cape would be nice. One lonely vault slot. <laughs> a 421 Eye of Scobald. Do we take this? Do we do we even want two of the tokens? Does that even do anything for us? We may as well take this and try it. We'll take it and try it out. Unfortunately, only one vault slot. I think the trinket is kind of patty. Um, it's like mostly AOE damage, but oh well. Feather at home, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I was in balance loot spec. I have an eye in my bag, but it's only four oh five. I think. I just like was holding onto it for whatever. All right. Our evoker, we have three mythic plus vault slots. No raid slots though. Pretty soon we'll be able to sneak our evoker into raid maybe. I got a feather. Honestly, not super impressed with this trinket. 
items we need. I kind of would like to replace this ring with a ring that doesn't have mastery on it. I could also craft something too. Um... I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see what we got. First death in 15 seconds. Uh, yeah, this was me. This was me clowning to Herja. I did not expect Herja to kill me in three ticks. In, uh, whatever it was. Well, with all my hots and stuff up. This was a tragedy. Alright. Um... I don't know what, what loot spec I want. I'm just going to go preservation. Because I don't think there's really any DPS trinkets I want. I mean, feather would be the only one, I guess. And feather doesn't even seem that good. Alright. Send it. Okay, so we have... 421 shoulders, which are useless. 421 pants which are basically useless 421 crit haste helm hmm dude so I crafted this NG helm <laughs> this flamethrower thing is the biggest pile of shit <laughs> do net this this reveal of flamethrower and deal damage never use this flamethrower never craft it do not waste your time or money first of all it shares a cooldown with your potion so in it's basically just a terrible shocking disclosure potion if you ever use it it's a it, all, it puts all your potions on cooldown second of all the the fail rate is like very high and so half of the times that you use it you just fail and then you turn into a chicken for three seconds or it blows up. And then on top of that, if it fails, it puts your potion on cooldown anyway. So when it fails, it goes on cooldown for 10 minutes. I don't, I'm, I'm, I guess I had to be the one to test this, but this is the official public service announcement. Never, never make this, never do anything. Um, I think I'm going to take the helm. I think I'm going to take the helm. Um... Oops, sticky keys, what the hell? Uh, I don't really want a socket. This is a... 20s, yeah. I think I'm just going to take the helm. The other two are basically worthless anyway. Boom. Disable that, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since I activated sticky keys. All right, we have a helm. I'm just de-equipping this engineering pile of crap. It's terrible. And now we have a 421 helm. We can also tier this later if we want to uh, get rid of one of these pieces. So the chest is actually really high mastery. So if I wanted to do big damage, I can replace this chest and tier this helm. But for now, I'll probably leave this the same. I don't know what the helm is looking like anyway. Well, there's our vaults. Our alts are not too unhappy. We got a little bit of loot. We could still use a little bit more, but that's okay. Leave some for next week. Let's look at the affixes. They are tyrannical, spiteful, quaking, thundering. I feel like this week, the affixes don't look too bad. This seems like one of the better tyrannical weeks. I think spiteful is very annoying for melee. I think quaking is annoying for ranged. Uh, I don't think they're that particularly dangerous though. I think they're just annoying. I think what's going to hold you back in most of these keys is going to just simply be tyrannical. Can you deal with the bosses? Especially if there's some annoying quaking or thundering overlaps with the bosses. But I would be specking and building just to beat bosses, get some bigly single target damage, change talents around to make sure you can live the harder bosses. All of the trash should be pretty easy. And we go from there. Gotta be dungeon quest soon again, right? A call to battle. Battleground quest. Okay, so it's four battlegrounds. That's the weekly quest. 
Um, where do we get the tier? Where do we get the... Uh, oh, I got it on my other guy, right? You only have to do the quest one time or something? No, don't worry. No one's doing PvP quests anyway. But yeah, that wraps up that. There's not much more to say about this week. Should be a good one. I wish you all good luck in your vaults. Our uh, IO score has slowly been rising. We need some Tyran keys. Our best Algathar is a 20 depleted. Our best Temple is a 24 depleted. 23 depleted. Yeah, we got to do some undepleting. To, we got some undepleting to do. All right. Take it easy, friends. Thanks for watching. Good luck in your vaults. And happy keying.